Welcome and thanks for watching. We're out here today with a little Hatfield shotgun. It's chambered in a 20 gauge. Uh, yeah, a pretty nice little shotgun. Wood stalk and forearm, ventilated rib barrel, brass bead out on the front. And this is chambered in a three inch. And uh, you shoot two and three quarters or three inch. Got a 28 inch barrel, full choke. Now, uh, the overall length is 43 and three quarters, folded up to almost 29 inches. When you, you can fold this up. Now, uh, here's your breakdown right here. It's your trigger guard. Just pull back on it and breaks down real easy and all folds up. So pretty neat. Now this one doesn't cock when you uh, break it down. You've got a hammer. You simply pull it back when you get ready to shoot and you've got a crossboat safety right here. You can put on or put off. And so that's pretty neat. Uh, I like that. You just kind of pop that safety off and you're ready to go. And uh, we're gonna try one shot. And these are number five shots, Winchesters and uh, two and a half inch and we're going to give them a try now let me get my plugs on now you should be able to see us up close we got the cameras going and uh we're going to break this one down and put a one in a number five shot winchester and uh two and a half inch and uh um, i would do some three inches but we don't have any we'll try to do some of those on another video but we're going to see how it does so all right, let's give it a try. Okay, not, not too bad. Not too bad. I think I, I kind of let it pull a little bit there at the end. Uh, I'm going to give that one more shot and uh, because I think I let it come down. I just pull a little bit because I, I think most of the wad dropped down, but there's a lot in that. You can see that target, but uh, you should be able to see that up close. So I'm gonna try it one more time. Uh, there wasn't much of a kick there. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Now I think. There we go. Now I think. Uh, at this distance, it seems as though the, let me go up there and get that target. It seems as though it's, uh, uh, the pattern's a little bit low. That's not too bad, guys. Uh, that is two shots, but the first shot, and I'm noticing that this is just a little bit low. Now, I'm gonna shoot uh, take it one more shot. We're loaded back with a number five shot, two and three quarter high powered, and we're going to be shooting at. You should be able to see us up close in the camera. It's one of the little metal targets, and it's right under an old pan, an old pot hanging there that we shoot our 22s at every now and then. And we're just going to see how many shot we can put in that metal target there from this distance. All right, let's give that a try. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera up there and let you look at that, guys. Now, this is easy to get the shells out. Now, don't throw them, but it actually pulls them up and you can get them out. They're coming right out of there. And there's a little kick there. It is a light little shotgun to carry, but it's not bad. Now, the only thing, uh, I got some big high cheekbones here and uh, actually, it's making it a little, I'm trying to get down too far. And uh, when I'm pulling down at that, I probably am trying to get down too much. And I think if I just, if I just throw this up, it would do a lot better. It would bring that up some. But uh, I have that problem with shotguns. Uh, that's why I like to use an optic 
and uh, I, I tend to shoot low. But, but uh, nor, most people would probably shoot this and that would have burnt that up. So let's go up there and look at that target. Right here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, 17 or 18 shots in that. So <laughs> the little Hatfield. Uh, not a bad looking little piece. A good little truck gun or someone just starting out hunting. Uh, they would like that. And I don't think you have any problem getting some squirrels and some uh, rabbits and, and turkey hunting maybe even with this one for the youth or even a grown-up. I mean, uh, this would be handy to just carry around in a truck and uh, light, no problem to carry. And uh, so, guys, I thought I'd bring this to you while we had the opportunity, the Hatfield. I'd never done one of these on this, and it just seemed like a pretty nice little shotgun for around 149 bucks, uh, not bad, not bad. With woodstock and forearm, chambered in a three inch, ventilated rib. Uh, I wanna take this opportunity to thank the good people at Bluegrass Palm Gun Golden Jewelries for furnishing some of the supplies and ammos to make these videos possible. Go in and see them, they're right out of Mount Sterling on 460 in Camargo, across from Creech's Market. A family running on business. Tom and Murray, they'll be glad to see you. Greet you with a smile. Thank you. Guys, as always, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all those views and comments. And subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up if you like it. It seems to help. And we'll see you all the next time. Out here at my little mini range having some fun on the walk with Al. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate you all very much. Thank you.